Hello and welcome to the course. We're going to start by introducing ourselves. Tarun? Hi, my name is Tarun Kushwaha and I'm a faculty member in the marketing group here at Keenan Flagler. I have been here at Keenan Flagler since 2007. In terms of research, my research are, uh, interests are in two broad domains. The first one is customer relationship management. In this domain, I develop statistical models for predicting customers' future behavior and thereby utilizing their future behavior for optimally allocating marketing resources. The second domain is in the context of international marketing. And this particular research interest of mine has evolved because I'm originally from India, but I have been in the US for the last 14 or 15 years. And I constantly see that my, my own behavior, purchase behavior seems to be influenced by the very fact that I grew up in India. In terms of teaching, my, research in, my teaching interests are in the domain of teaching marketing analytics, which is again, using statistical analysis in the in context of marketing decision making. The other teaching interest of mine is in the context of international marketing. Thanks. Uh, my name is Adam Mercero. I've also, like Tarun, been at Keenan Flagler since 2007, and I'm in the operations group. Um, my research interests are on the relationship between data and operational decisions. So in particular, decisions like inventory management and pricing. Um, and, you know, think about how data, the acquisition of data, the learning, um, the statistical aspects uh, may, may impact those decisions. Um, in addition, I'm interested in retail operations specifically, and we'll talk about that later on in the course. In terms of uh, teaching interest, uh, I teach core analytics courses at, MB at Keenan Flagler, in particular at the MBA level, um, and I've also developed an uh, elective MBA course uh, called Data Analytics. In fact, this course is actually a merger of two courses, the data analytics course that Adam used to teach in the MBA program and that I used to teach a marketing analytics course in the MBA program. So we bring our courses together and have developed this course. You might ask, why would we take two separate courses and put them together? Well, there's a couple reasons for that. One is to avoid duplication. By not having to go over tools twice, we actually gain a little bit of time and depth that we can use to go a little bit farther into, into analytics. The second is we thought that um, having two different perspectives from two different functional areas, marketing and operations, would actually strengthen some of the insights we could get in the course. So while this course is interdisciplinary in nature, it leans slightly more towards marketing. And the reason for that is, partly because I'm interested in marketing, but also partly because a lot of the interesting data that we see in today's world comes in the domain of marketing. So throughout the course, we're going to emphasize the importance of rolling up your sleeves and getting your hands dirty with data. In fact, we'll try to achieve three specific goals. The first goal would be how to rigorously approach data. The second goal that we'll hope to achieve is how to ask right questions. And the third one would be how analytics fits into the business strategy of your firm. For a lot of our analysis, we're going to use the package called Jump, which is uh, written by the SaaS Corporation. This is a fully featured statistical package. Um, why do we choose it? Well, I th we thought it, it has a nice balance of usability, but also power at the same time. So it covers a lot of the tools that we're going to be using. This is not really a Jump course, but we expect that by the time you've gotten through this course, you'll develop a pretty good pr proficiency in Jump. So while we have talked about what this course is about, let me just spend a minute to explain what this course is not about. First, this course is not about learning databases. If you're interested in learning databases, this is not a course. Second, this course, you're not going to learn mathematical proofs behind a lot of the statistical tools that we are going to cover. So if you're interested in statistical tools, you are welcome to take the course, but if you're interested in the mathematical proofs, this course is not going to cover those aspects. So if we think about what is, what is this course, um, I actually think back to a blog post that I often refer to uh, that tries to define this hot new job called data scientist. And so this blog post is called The Five Attributes of the Data Scientist. What the article, what the blog says is that uh, it's five things. First off, a data scientist has to be a business or a domain expert. Mm -hmm. Secondly, they need to be a statistics expert. They need to be a programming expert. They need to be a database technology expert. And finally, they need to be a visualization and also communications expert. Wow, does a person like this exist? I don't think they do. Um, and actually, if you look at some of the comments under this blog post, it's basically to that effect, that such a person doesn't really exist, but perhaps we can try to create such a person in the aggregate. And in some sense, that what we're, that's what we're trying to do in this course. As MBA students, we expect that you have the business and domain knowledge. We also expect that you have, you're pretty good at visualization and, and communication skills. And what we're trying to do is bolster some of the other skill sets, for example, in particular, the, skill, the, the statistics mm -hmm. skill set, and our hope is is that this makes you a contributor to a team that we can sort of broadly call a data scientist or maybe even a leader of such people. With that, welcome to the course. We look forward to working with you now.